Hi, today I am going to put together a hand finished print. A hand finished print is quite simple. It's a print <laughs> that the artist who created the original painting that the print's based on finishes the print with pen or paper, uh, sorry, pen or pa paint or ink or something like that. So, things we're going to need for doing this are masking tape, invisible tape, uh, a pencil. A paintbrush, um, some paint, in this case mainly red and black, some water, um, a mount, this is a A3 mount, and your print. Here's my print. So, first off, let's just get this desk a bit cleaner. First off, we are going to mount the print. So, the best way to do this is put your print down. And figure out roughly what composition. There is a message for you. Oh, excuse me, it's my computer. For this, I'm going to hand finish this print with the heart coming down off these planes and coming spilling over onto the um, over to the mount. And I might put the just the nose of this plane also coming onto the um, mount. And then I will finish it, I'll probably add some more red to these hearts, maybe a few streaks of black to that. So anyway, that's the composition I want, really. I don't want to change it more than that. And, like I said, you need to get the positioning right. Make sure there's no dust on it. That's crap, get off. Um, and I reckon I want it about... So I've got a choice of having more heart and more wing. I'm going to put more heart. 50-50. So that's roughly how I want it. So just slide it off the desk, keeping it held as you can, flip over. Now get your invisible tape, and this is, we're just putting these on first to get a marker point. Make sure you've got some of the print overlapping onto the mount. Got a lot more that side than that side, is that okay? Let me have a look. No. See, that's too much. I'm going to bring bring it over this way. So we've got about 50-50 each side. Alright, so I've done the two sides. Now we'll spill over and just check we are in a decent position. Uh, where would I put that rag? Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now we're going to fix it. Um, for fixing the prints to the mounts, uh, you can get mounts that have a flappy cardboard there, cardboard bit there, and you sort of sandwich them together. Or you fix them with a decent masking tape, or you can get mounters tape, um, which is incredibly expensive. Um, so masking tape, I'm going to double this up. I'm going to go for magic tape and some masking tape. get the tape onto the actual print there because um, it will show through sometimes. Um, that's looking fine. Okay now I'm going to fully secure with masking tape. This is a good brown mask. This is scotch uh, masking tape. So we'll just fix this fully. Should be held pretty down well. Right, so now just make sure that's all nice and firm. Get your rag again. Make sure it's stuck nicely. She is. Okay, so that's mounting a print. If you just want to mount your prints, that's all you got to do, then you know, sign, date it, whatever you want to do there. Because this is going to be a hand-finished print, I'm now going to add some uh, 
and finished elements to it. Get your pencil. Here, I now want to um, make things go over the mount. So first of all, this heart here. We're going to sort of figure out where the heart goes. And very carefully extend the heart. Making sure it's roughly equal. You can fix a lot of that with paint. And I'm also going to add maybe one big heart there. That was quite good. So you've got the hearts bombing down and coming there. Um, don't think I'll add another one. Should we add another one? No, I think that would be alright. And then we've got the wing up here. This wing, I'm going to bring this wing onto the canvas, onto the mount. Just the edge of it, so I'll just put that, paint that bit black. Um, and the nose of this plane, I can't decide whether I should. I think I'm, I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave that plane because I think if I put the nose there, that might bring that out too much and that should be in the back, that should be in the distance. So this plane is the important one. So we're going to have an extra heart there, extra heart there. There we go. So it's coming down. So that's done. Now I'm going to hand finish it. For this, I'm going to be using red uh, paint. Ooh, let me get the top off. Everything's drying out a bit because it's very, very hot. Paintbrush, and all I'm going to do is finish off these hearts here. These hearts are all now going to have a, a layer of red on it. Uh, I am going to just do this because just go out of the shower and these bracelets are a bit wet. So this is very simple. Just get a bit of your paint and I'm going to paint these hearts in. Uh, you'll probably need to put two layers of paint on this to uh, get a nice effect, but I'll just show you me doing one layer. And now that's got a nice little 3D effect. So that's um, those hearts painted, now I'm onto the hearts that uh, will be going over the frame, um, over the mount. So we'll see how that goes, shall we? Wish me luck! Hearts are all done, and uh, now I'm just going to pop in the little bit of black up there to join the wing onto the end, um, and then I'll give all this another coat, sign and date it, and um, that's it. That's how you do a finished print. So let's just do the last bit. That is how you do how you mount a print and how you do a hand finish print. Um, I hope it was of some help and I hope you enjoyed seeing this uh, painting uh, becoming a hand print, finished print. This is uh, part of the Love War series. This is a part, only a little part of a very big painting called uh, The Battle of Le Mans. So go check out my website splinterstudios.com, join my Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, all that stuff and um, please um, if you join my group, my Facebook group, and you do a hand finished print, post it on there and let me see it. That'd be good. Um, so, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.